hospice and palliative care is all about support for patients and their families that are facing life-limiting illnesses. It's kind of like a big hug for people that are facing a very difficult time in their lives. Family Hospice began probably in a unique way for this area and most areas in that four partners joined. Four partners that might have been competitors came together to promote this wonderful idea of taking care of the terminally ill in their homes. The early years of hospice were very passionate years. People worked long hours. They were deeply invested in their patients. I think they still are. I know they still are. Arising out of the generosity of our community and the volunteer-based roots, we have, for example, pet therapy, which is volunteer-run and volunteer-staffed. We also provide extended bereavement services for anybody that needs it, whether they're a hospice bereaved or not. We also have a wonderful group called the Pittsburgh Threshold Choir. Unfortunately, our daughter became ill with a terminal illness, and uh, there was a, time, a point where we realized, and her caregivers at the hospital realized, that she needed something like hospice care. It fulfills a need that's a very direct and personal need. I found that this as a support for us was really life-saving. And I think it's a beautiful thing. I think it's a beautiful thing. Okay, Shannon, just reach that goal. You're doing great. We have two very special programs that help with children and teenagers that are coping with the loss of a loved one. I'd like your mom to get the picture. I learned that pushing people away is something you can't do, that you have to be able to get through with somebody. And when you try to do it on your own, you're just gonna end up falling. You're gonna have to have a helping hand at least once in a while. And that you have support even though you don't know it's there. Family Hospice could not do what we do without our volunteers. And it's impossible for me to talk about our volunteers without smiling because so many amazing faces come to my mind. Uh, volunteers are actually what I would consider uh, the soul of hospice. We have about 300 active volunteers now. They do anything from patient care to this uh, candlelight vigil at night, staying with people that are dying that don't have family, because we don't ever want them to be alone. We can't cure the disease, but we can give you comfort, make you as comfortable as we can. And every day is a good day till the end. One lady, I had, she made me dig a garden, <laughs> dig her garden. <laughs> and, you know, another who I sat quietly with and held her hand and looked into her eyes as she was dying. Um, one was a baby who I sat and rocked. As part of our desire to be here in 35 years and fulfill our mission, we've recently partnered with UPMC Presbyterian Senior Care and Home Nursing Agency in order to combine our resources, our collective wisdom and experience, and be able to meet the demands of health care. One of the things that's not going to change in health care and at family hospice over the next 35 years is our desire to remain connected to and engaged with the community we serve, because that is the soul and the heart of what we do. That mission includes educating the public on end-of-life care and also providing services at the moment of need. There is no reimbursement for bereavement care, for the Pittsburgh Threshold Choir, for pet therapy. Of course, no reimbursement for care for people that need hospice care and are unable 
to pay for it. So our dona donations and the generosity of our community remain extremely important moving forward. And of course, the thousands of hours that our volunteers provide and help. You touch people at the most vulnerable time of their life. And if you can feel like you make a difference, that's an amazing thing. I think Family Hospice has touched a lot of lives in the community because every family has somebody that has had the experience. I just know I'd love to be here around hospice people. They just know how to live life and they understand how fragile life is. Wonderful people, just wonderful people all the way along.